Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpro Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of the Witch video. Well, we're back at it again. This time with Riven Witch's number two quest. We're not only going to show you the quest, but all of the different seven ascended chest locations as well. Let go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. First thing first, you want to head into the helm and speak with Mara. So, she's going to give us Riven Witch quest number two now number two is going to be a uh, different a lot different because we need seven ascended chests there's only two steps to get our rewards that amazing wish token and some enhancement cores so a uh, step number one two three four five six seven <laughs> our ascended chests we're going to head over to the dreaming city and i'm going to be showing you all of the different seven chests of course there are more but i'll show you the seven chests that i went after and got first chest is right here at the Drown Wishes Lost Sector. So when you spawn in, turn around, we're gonna go into this Lost Sector, and I'll show you exactly where it is located. So, the very first chest is right inside of this Bay of Drown Wishes Lost Sector in the Dreaming City. What I want you to do is just run straight past all the enemies, all the way until you get to this street. Then, pop that tincture if you haven't already, Otherwise, this will not appear. So you need to make sure you have that tincture. All right, chest number two is gonna be located right over here in the delivery mist. And I'll walk you through it like I said, I got you covered. Now, about that tincture, you can buy one from Petra Vane. So um, yeah, you should have no issues getting those. Just cost you a little bit of glimmer and you're pretty much good to go. All right, for this second chest, we're gonna head right over here. You all know what this is, this is where the Nice public event happens. Make sure you pop that tincture. I already got mine popped and you're good to go. Just make sure you keep that in mind. There's a 30 minute countdown timer. And if you don't get them all in one go, you're probably gonna need another one. So if you are doing this and you're like, oh, it's not there, just make sure you have the tincture pop. All right, now from here, we're gonna be making our way up this little steps all the way until we get to the top so we can get our lovely reward. A little bit of slip up right there, but it's all good. Like I said, I got you covered. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Let's do this. We're gonna parkour ourselves all the way up and thank goodness for our floaty magic with warlocks because it makes it a whole lot easier being a warlock. I'm just saying, just saying. Everybody should be a warlock. <laughs> all right, now from here, we just need to make our way all the way up to the top. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a trick, right? And uh, voila, here it is, my dude. Finally, we have that freaking chest way over here, way in the air. Yeah, it's way up there, my dude. And voila, boom, we have uh, a chest number two. Now, for our third chest, this is where we're gonna be heading, right over here by Petrovine. It's the same place where you can buy those tinctures if you need them. And here are those little steps that we're gonna be crawling. So let me show you exactly where we're going. From the delivery miss, we wanna go over here to the strand. Here's Petravine. Cannot miss this one. And then we're gonna just be making our way all the way up to the top to grab our chest. It can be a little bit challenging if you're not a person who like parkour. But if you don't like parkour, you should probably be a warlock because warlocks have floaty magic and you're about to see i'm about to just jump over a whole bunch of all of these steps screw those steps give me the chest <laughs> boom there it is right there and chest number three is acquired all right chest number four is going to be at affilian's rest it's actually going to be right behind where we're at right now so just jump right back down there's petravine right there i'm going to jump down here is the lost sector so we're going to head into this lost sector and I'll show you exactly where this chest is located. And this one's gonna be pretty much straightforward. You are going to head all the way to the end of the Lost Sector. That is where this chest is going to be located. So hop in your scooter, scoot on over there. You can pass up all the enemies. You can take out the enemies if you want. I'm like, you know, why not? There's the boss, I got my super. Let me go ahead and take out this boss and then collect my rewards for the Lost Sector. So, totally up to you, you can get a, after it and just run past all the enemies, or you can do what I did and, you know, complete the whole sector. Totally up to you, the boss was right there. Now, right at the end is going to be our chest. Make sure you don't jump down. Hang over to the right, and here is chest number four. 
Now let's move on to chest number five. From the Delilium Mist, we're gonna head all the way into the strand. We're gonna be hanging on the left, taking this way up, and right over here will be a lost sector, the chambers of starlight. Now I'm right here on the bridge so I can show you where this lost sector is. Because a lot of people might not know. Alright, so let me do this. Here we are. The Chamber of Starlight, that is where I am on the map. And let me turn around so you can see where the Law Sector is. All right, now that we know where the Law Sector is, you see another Guardian jumping down there as well. We're gonna make our way into this Law Sector and I'll show you where that chest is located. So, make your way into here. You can also use your speeder to scoot on over here and make it a little bit quicker for you. And uh, yeah, this one is going to be towards the end as well. Here is the Lost Sector chest. From here, you wanna hang a left, go into these dark passageway. There's some two statues outside as well. And here is that lovely chest. Rather easy, you just need to know where to go. And that is gonna be chest number five. Chest number six out of Reshevalia. From the Lilia Mist, we're gonna go in through the strand, we're gonna make our way over here. Here's where we was by the Lost Sector. And right over here is going to be the entrance. All right, we're not gonna go into the entrance. Instead, we're gonna make a, a right a little hook and jump along the side of this mountainous range. We're gonna keep our way going to the right. And you can kind of skinny up on the side of these rocks. And we're gonna be making our way up the mountain on these small little ledges, okay? Now, it can be a little bit challenging, like I said, if you're not a warlock. Everybody needs to be a warlock, makes this a whole lot easier. A little bit of floaty magic, a little bit of floaty magic. And as you can see right here, I am trying to jump out. And that is because I don't have my tincture pop yet. So like I said before, if you don't know where it is located and you're sitting here and you're thinking, where is it at? Make sure you pop your tincture and you pretty much are good to go. So let me go ahead and take my own advice. Like I said, you might run out of time. You only have 30 minutes between going from place to place. You're probably going to run out. So just make sure you have at least two of those uh, tinctures ready to go. All right, that'll be a whole hour of uh, playtime. And here is a chest uh, number six. Now we only need one more chest, and there's plenty of other chests around here, right? So. Here is chest number seven, is really close to where we're at from chest number six. We're gonna be jumping down and we're gonna be heading over into this area, Rushavilia. Here's the entrance right over here. That's what we're looking at. And we're gonna head all the way to the final part of this map where there's nowhere else to go, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump down like so, and we're gonna go into this entrance and we're gonna make our way all the way to the back. Then I'm gonna turn around and show you exactly where we're located. So I am gonna cut the video, but you just need to know you wanna make it all the way to the back, but there's nothing else. So let me show you where we're going. Once again, all the way over here, we're gonna go in through this entrance and we're gonna make our way all the way to where you see where I'm at right here. There's literally nothing else over here. Let me turn around so you can see there's nothing. This is the end of the map, all right? Now, once you make your way over here, you got your back turned to you, to the left will be where we are headed, all right? can be a little bit confusing, but I try my best to talk you and walk you through it so you know exactly where we're at, okay? Now from here, we're gonna be doing some more parkour. We're gonna jump underneath these two little ledges and make our way back up past this ledge, underneath it once again, make our way all the way back up, getting our parkour on until we finally get the final chest. So boom, there you have it. That is chest number seven. Now, after that, there's only two steps to this quest. We want to head back into the helm and speak with Marisol. So, now, she's going to give us what we are looking for, and that is the lovely reward. So, hook it up, Marisol. So, of speaking with Marisol, so, she's going to give you the wish token. And from here, you can pretty much pick whatever you want. Me, personally, I'm going after the age-old bond. I'm getting that and putting that in my arsenal. So boom, that is what I'm doing. The quest is completed. Riven Wish uh, number two. Next week, we'll be back with Riven Wish number three, and I'll walk you through that as well, step by step, right here at Carpo Gaming. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Now, 
as always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Game for a wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thanks for watching. As always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.